Hello guys, this is Ruben Raj. Welcome to Laravel Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show how to install a MySQL server and a PHP MyAdmin. Uh, because uh, in, in, in my next video, I'm going to show how to configure MySQL with Laravel. So for that, you should have MySQL server installed on your machine. And uh, additionally, I'll show how to install uh, PHP MyAdmin because uh, it's a uh, web-based uh, GUI tool to uh, see what's going on in the database for example if we want I mean if if we do some uh, uh, Changes in the MySQL database. Uh, it's a really good tool to visualize everything uh, Yeah, that's why uh, I'm going to show how to install PHP my admin also. So for that first we need to uh, install the MySQL server uh, before that uh, I'll update the package list so for that sudo apt get update so it will update the packages first so every time uh, i mean before you download some packages i mean before you install some packages it's good to update the uh, package list so it's updated now i'm going to install mysql server sudo apt get install mysql server yes so here it will ask for the root password so here i'm going to keep uh, root as my password so easy to remember i'm retyping the same password so it's so it's installing the mysql server in my machine it will take a couple of seconds more, I think. Mm. So the next thing is uh, we need to install uh, PHP MyAdmin. But uh, to install PHP MyAdmin, you should have a uh, Apache server uh, should be installed on your, in your machine. So before install PHP MyAdmin, uh, I'm going to install uh, Apache server in my machine. So for that, I'm going to execute this command sudo apt get install apache2 so it will install the apache server it, it won't take much time i think so it's done it's a uh, install the apache server so to test that uh, you can uh, go to your browser and you can look for localhost so you can see here the apache 2 server is running on my machine successfully so you, so if you get this page it means uh, apache 2 is installed in your machine so we'll quickly go to install uh, the other dependencies for php my admin the next thing uh, you need to install is uh, there are few uh, things you need to install before php my admin if uh if those packages are already installed in your machine it's no problem if not you should have it so for that i'm going to execute this command sudo apt get install uh, wait a minute so sometimes uh it will not work in some machine so you should uh, you should add this uh, uh address in your repository first so for that, please execute this command, sudo apt add repository ppa ondreg slash php. So sometimes uh, if you try to install php in your machine, sometimes, not uh, always, sometimes you will get package not found uh, error message. So it's better to add this PPA in your uh, repository so that we can download the PHP and install in our machine. So now you are good to go and execute the following commands to get the PHP and the PHP dependencies uh, in your machine. So for that sudo space apt get space install PHP 7.0. We are going to use 7.0 version and uh, yeah. I'm going to keep it constant for my uh, upcoming videos also and uh, we are going to install two uh, 
no not true we are going to install uh, four packages here the first one is php 7.0 and the second one is a uh, lib apache lib apache am i right no i don't want this lib apache 2 hyphen mode hyphen php again i want 7.0 version and uh, i also want uh, php 7.0 mcrip package and the final one is php 7.0 hyphen MySQL. So if you see here, I have uh, all the packages uh, from the 7.0 version. So don't uh, mismatch the version versions. So sometimes it will not work. So I'm going to hit enter to install all these four packages. So it's reading the list. So uh, actually I have installed all these four packages already in my machine. So it said uh, nothing is installed now. So in your machine, you will see a lot of uh, things. I mean, the installation steps and everything so now we uh, i'll quickly uh, explain what we did we installed the uh, mysql server first and uh, second we installed the apache 2 server and third we installed php and uh, some dependencies for for the php my admin now finally we are going to install the php my admin so for that you have to execute this command sudo apt hyphen get space install php my admin yes so here it will uh, i mean it's asking for a uh, web server configuration we can choose uh, uh, from these two option actually we have installed apache 2 to run the PHP my admin uh, in our browser. So I'm going to choose uh, Apache 2. So it's configuring uh, the PHP my admin with the uh, Apache 2 web server. And it says uh, restarting the web server. And it's asking uh, for configure database for PHP my admin with yes, I want to do that. So it's asking for the database uh, administrative user password so i'm going to give the same password here uh, root do you guys remember i have used root password uh, when i was installing mysql server so i'm going to use the same password here uh, root and the same password for php mysql my, sorry php my admin also root and uh, root so it's in so it's done now it's installed the php my admin uh, framework so to check this uh, we need to go to browser so now i'll check uh, but before that uh, we need to restart the apache server to restart apache server we should use this command sudo service apache to restart So it's restarted the server. So now Apache server is running to access the PHP my admin. You have to do slash and PHP my admin. So here it says uh, PHP my admin is not found because uh, we didn't uh, say the uh, we didn't give the reference of PHP my admin to uh, Apache server so to do that you need to open the configuration file of uh, Apache so for that I need to first go to Apache folder etc Apache 2 so now I'm going to open Apache configuration file so here i am using a sudo permission because uh, you should have sudo permission you sh i mean you should be a root user to uh, configure this file so i am using sudo and uh, using the nano editor so if you uh, i mean if you don't have this nano editor use your default editor to configure this file otherwise uh, you can install nano editor before you execute the same command 
so just go to the bottom of the file and uh, just include this line include slash etc slash php my admin so actually what we are doing is we are giving the reference of php my admin to the apache server configuration uh, so actually i missed this etc slash php my admin slash apache dot conf so in the nano editor to save these uh, you have to press ctrl o and it says uh, it's asking for the confirmation yes save to close the editor i'm using ctrl x so now i'm out of uh, the file so i have changed some configuration in the apache server so i need to restart the server again so i'm going to use the same command to restart the server sudo service apache 2 restart so it's restarting my server so now if i go and refresh my page so now you can see <coughs> the php my admin is installed and uh, so before i have used the i mean before i have saved the credentials so it's using the same credentials uh, the username is uh, root and the password is also root so i'm going to hit enter so now you can see all the things are here i mean the database is here php my admin is set and uh, apache web server is running and uh, mysql also i mean we have installed the mysql uh, server also so we should have these uh, prerequisite prerequisite configurations uh, to configure mysql with uh, laravel application so in my next video i will show how to configure the mysql database with laravel application i mean how to give i mean how to configure how to give the address ip address port number username password with i mean to laravel and uh, before that make sure that you have uh, these things installed in your machine and i have showed you how to verify uh, Web server, Apache web server installed and uh, showed you how to verify whether PHP my admin is successfully installed and uh, yes that's all uh, for this video um, thank you guys thank you for watching this video uh, if you like this video please give a thumbs up and uh, you can subscribe to my channel I will post a lot of uh, cool videos about Laravel uh, yeah uh, see you guys on the next video thank you